Today, we are reviewing Tristam's Redacted that came out in April. I haven't really had much time to listen to it. I've only really listened to like a couple singles. Uh, but uh, yeah, I finally have time to listen to the whole album. And we're just we're just going to get straight right into it. I'm really excited. Tristam has not released like anything in like the, ever since like what, 2018. And he broke his silence in 2020 with his song Violence. And that was awesome. And then he would continue to release numerous singles such as Children in the Dark, Burn and some other stuff. The only songs I've heard on here have been Children in the Dark, Burn and Violence. So uh, everything else is completely blind. So let's see what happens when we get into this first song of the redacted is black beauty Ooh, yeah oh man this is good i really feel the emotion of this one oh, that was really good oh that's a really good first opener i'm really excited for the rest of the songs mm, that was amazing all right we're gonna get to the next track, Ruthless. Oh, that is lovely. That is so pretty. This one's a little bit, like a slightly bit more electronic influenced. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is really catchy. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is very different from the other three singles he's released. This one's way more upbeat. Oh my gosh. And this little part here is really good. Whoa. Whoa. That's really nice. We're gonna get to the next track, Mistake. Ooh, okay. Oh, that, that is a, uh, that kick is bassy. That is nice. All right, let's do this. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, this beat is great. I love it. I gotta tell you, these choruses and these hooks are just so catchy. They're like massive earworms. Like every song on here is gonna be a bop. Oh yeah. This kind of reminds me of uh, the old version of Children in the Dark that was like leaked on YouTube. But way poppier and bassy, and I am loving it. I'm glad there's some bops in this album, instead of it all just being super calm pop, you know? I really like that. I really appreciate that. Okay, so we're getting into the next song, Children of the Dark, but I've already heard the song before, so I just want to do a little quick uh, review of it. Uh, this song, actually, let me just skip to like the... Yeah, here it is. This is a really, this is a really good one. Probably one of my favorites off of here. And the chorus is really good, and the music video is so good as well. And, oh. I'll be blind like children in the dark. Children in the dark. Children in the dark. It's just a fun vibe, and I just, I just love it. I just love that one. Uh, and the next track I've also already heard before, we're going to burn. It's kind of like the sequel to Children in the Dark, especially with the music video. This is also really good. This is calmer, but this is like, this is way better than Children in the Dark. Also, I appreciate the uh, the seven, four time, if you can hear it. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Dante, Dante. Mm. Ah, it's just so good. Oh yeah, amazing, amazing song as well. Anything that Tristam creates is perfection. So we're going to get to the the music video is amazing as well. We're going to get to the next song, 1992. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's kind of jazzy in a way. That beat is swingy. I really like that. So catchy. Tristan really showcasing his ability and his talent on this one. 
Amazing. That was good. That was really good. That's probably one of my favorites on here so far out of like uh, the new songs uh, that were uh, released with this album. So yeah, really good stuff. Awesome, awesome album so far. We're halfway, we're halfway through the album. Let's see what the other half is like. Ooh, yeah. Oh my gosh. This is like an electron, more of a electronic influenced version of Children in the Dark. All right, I'm kind of watching the music video along with this and it's really, really interesting. This might be my favorite music video, honestly. But dang, this beat, I gotta be honest, it is sick. Take a chance. Oh, this is, this is really good. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm just loving this. I'm just loving this. This is so good. Beautiful, amazing, pretty. These are adjectives that describe Tristam's music. Mm, it was really good. I feel like maybe this song kind of drags out a bit too long, but it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. Because it's just, it's just really good. Oh, I don't know if I say this. I really don't want it to ruin people's experience of, those, of the song, but uh, I'll just say it. The melody reminds me of the next track, Different. Ooh. Oh, that's good. We got like a choir of Tristams right now singing. Amazing song. All right, the next song is Violence. It's the first Tristam song that came out, and I have actually, obviously, I have already heard it. Uh, but this was this was a really good way to kind of like show that like Tristam's coming back, especially with this, the music video as well. The song and the music video were all really good. It was like a wonderful brand new opening, a brand new chapter of Tristam. After two years since he last released uh, Questions on Monster Cat. And it was just very welcome. Maybe I'm done with the violence. Maybe with my little makes sense. Deep down we are innocent. Did I mention the music video is good? It is really, actually it's better than good. It's beautiful, it's amazing. It's breathtaking, like, it's about so many different things. There's a, there's layers beyond layers to the music video. But yeah, overall, amazing, amazing song. And ultimately, the final track, no, not the final track, the second final track, Can You Feel the Love? And no, it's not that song from The Lion King. Oh, this... Oh. oh, this is so good. This is so good. Oh, this is so moving, so emotional. Oh, oh I'm, in, I'm getting in the feels. Oh my gosh. I can feel the love, Tristam. Oh, I could definitely feel it. Oh, man. Holy. Oh, my goodness. Jeez. Tristam. What are you doing to me, man? Ugh. Well, if that's not the last track, um, that really sounded like, like the perfect way to end the album, but there's one more track left with Love Until We Die. And that's kind of like the main quote that like he's been promoting throughout this whole album. It's enough to live a life with love until we die. So let's just see what the last track is like. But I gotta say, unless this unless this last track is going to uh, change my opinion, so far can you feel the love? 
is my favorite song because it is so pretty. It is so beautiful. It is the most calming song off of here. And this is probably probably the best vocal work that Tristan has done on a this uh, album and probably his whole discography to be honest this is amazing this is really Tristan's best work so far uh, but we still have one more track to go so let's do it Ooh. we're just we're just getting straight into it all right yeah <laughs> mm. This is so good. I love the influence on this track. This is so good. This is probably the most upbeat track on here, definitely. This is how you end an album. Woo! Amazing album. Amazing album. Amazing album amazing album where do i even begin where do i even begin with this album like this is just so incredible like that last track felt like the end credits of a movie it was just so breathtaking i was watching the music video as well i love the music videos i've all i loved all of these music videos that came along with this they were so visually stunning and pleasing and I really liked how they all told a story, kind of like walks of life. And it was just amazing. So well done to Tristam and well done. Well, well done. Well done to Tristam and well done to your team that helps with the music videos and your songwriting and everything. You've probably done probably like at least 99% of the songwriting and producing. But yeah. Oh, it sucks that it's over, but this is this is definitely an album that I'm going to come back to again and again and again. This is like contender for album of the year, honestly. This was a really good album. So, yeah, go listen to this album yourself because you really should experience it yourself without my commentary over it. So this is really good. Please check this album out. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Uh, tomorrow I've got a, a remix coming up, but uh, I also have uh, a new series that I kind of want to start. I didn't really mention this series in my ampersand August announcement video, but I just thought of it the other day and I kind of I kind of want to try it. Uh, see, see if it works, see what doesn't work. See what you guys think. So, yeah, just pay real good attention to uh, what's about to come tomorrow. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.